Hello and welcome to Giga Play Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to create a directional terrace. So it's uh, when we have terrace, I want to display them just on one side of the mountain, and maybe other ones have it smooth. So we'll see how we can implement and work with this together. So we'll begin with uh, working with advanced problem first. So we'll go open application, and right here I want to just use it as a basic, so nothing. Um, Face it, we maybe you know just go to eight, just leave it as eight kilometers. We'll go set, maybe you know, bring a little bit higher, a little bit more steps, not that much, just small adjustments, and we'll leave everything as default. So, right here, you can see we have it just very basic um, kind of setup. Okay, okay, let's go to our layout. Okay, I want to see, and we maybe, let's go maybe just make slightly bigger, just so we can cover, and maybe reposition, we have a kind of nice area mountain so we can look over some of those directions. Okay, I think that will work better. Okay, and next, um, Let's add some terrace to this. We'll go in a filter. We'll click select terraces and we'll just put on a middle. Okay, in our terrace, I want to use it sharp. And we can pop up, make a little bit more fun look to around 20. Um, also, let's bring this a little bit higher and a layering to two. So just bring a little bit more um, right here, a little bit more terrace preview. So right here we have it. Um, in some cases, a little bit boring. I don't like how the terraces like flat. You can see they look very floody. So I want to apply them a little bit with the kind of terrain, how it's moving around. And for this one, let's go now. We'll go select angle. Okay, we'll go to adjust to our angle right here. And I want actually, this is angle I want to work from the surface angle, I want to go to the control hour also to rate modulation. So it will make kind of look a little bit nicer. So let's open. Okay, and we'll go again headings. Normally I'm just looking as a start from north. So I'm kind of going to um, maybe just leave it about this direction. We'll leave it right there. And I'll take elevation and bring all the way down. Okay, then next let's go to um, uh, kind of it's small and if we add it, we'll have it a very high noise. So example, let's go right here and you can see it is adding this kind of high, very noise, um, not necessarily look pleasant. To remove that noise, I want to add probably just a blur to this. So we'll go to Filter, we'll go to, actually, you know what, instead blur, let's go use the expander, okay? It will just pop up a little bit better than blur. So we'll use it hybrid for fast, and we'll just take this and pop up to maybe around 20. So you can see right here, we're kind of bulging a little bit more. On this case, if we preview, you can see it will add a little bit better. It's a more interesting view, okay? We can always preview and right here you can see it's great kind of nice interesting effect to our terrain okay let's go back here so now what I want to do it is control where all those stars will come up and to do this we need to utilize the use of the mask um, actually you know what I I want to use it surface height I don't want to use it the other one so it will be a little bit better cover I think in this case um, and let's go use the blur now. We'll connect this one to the blur. And reasons why, so we have it a little bit smoother, not sharp areas. Because if I go right at this point and connecting to my terrace, so my terrace will look. Um, actually, let's let's look what's happening. Okay, without this, so we'll go open preview. So you can see right here we have a surface high instead of those. We have it kind of nicely applied, and again, see how they're going with the 
surface mountain so they're not necessarily straight lines they have a little bit kind of live to them a bit more natural look so the reason why we did this way but um, now if I'm going without an apply to the terrace okay we'll go preview it's kind of right in those areas but the very lock in so I want to expand them and add smoothness to transition so they look a little bit more interesting so for that one we'll go back and this is what I want to do I want to use a blur to this yeah, let's go open our blur and we're using again and guys and maybe no pop up 1820 so just to smooth those edges so they can blend um, more together so at this point let's go open and render you can see mostly it's like those areas a little bit better transitions right here so we have it nicer like right here on the sides you can see we have a nice stairs kind of start in bending right here but again if we look from this side we don't see any of those um stairs we don't see any of terracing only from this side so in some cases it's nice you can also instead angle you can use that slope so on this case if we're using slope we'll have it um, instead select angle we will have it more on the slopes on different so as example let's go back to our selector and we'll go just select a slope okay and we can do same with a slope okay so we'll connect right here and i probably need to just slope but just as example so right here we have it there on all levels okay let me go to lock this preview Okay, and we'll go back now. So right here, select slope. We can take degrees. A little bit down. Or maybe a little bit too much. Bring on a side, a little bit more. But in this case, you can actually adjust. Where you want to put it. But with the slope, we can put it total on the slope. And like right here, see, we don't... We remove from this area slope so we remove from sides but we do more on a flat area so you can kind of work and uh, and create it like almost overlay with the flat and slopes will display just those uh, terraces so but instead what i'm going to do i'm going back to angle so this is what to do. and we'll just take it off this one so to make this more interesting, I want to kind of combine this with uh, some other ones, like for example, mountain, and apply this effect, kind of merge this with more complex. So for that one, we'll go generation, we'll go to create advanced Perl one more time. So we'll go open this, and we'll go just create a bill of these ones. We'll go probably the same pop up elevations, a little bit higher. We take stepness up, we leave everything on. So it's just look kind of interesting. Okay, and next, let's isolate this. And we can do by creating radial grain. So we can open this one. Okay, let's create, okay, right here. And in some cases, you can see this is a little bit off. So reason is why, because if we look on our um, options, you can see this is our main extent. So and we're going from center point. So we can offset this, but in some cases, if you uh, just want to put it in another place, it's easy just to create a new layout. So and if we create circles, same things, we can just create a new layout for the middle. So in some cases that may work a little bit even better. So we'll just go select like this. Okay, let's expand a little bit more. Okay, we'll take shrink this a little bit down. Okay, and use a default breakout. So in that case, instead of radio, we can just use it our um, layout to create it to 
kind of guide where we want to put it to using our shape guide for our mountain. So right here. This is just in case if your radio because it go from the center one apply it and we don't want to move around. Um, next I want to uh, work with some of effect what we're producing right here for the angle so size. Uh, one thing if I'm using as a mapping this way you can see it's a little bit lower so I want to apply more and I don't want to uh, override some of the terraces if they apply it so I want to remove um, kind of block the areas where terrace is supposed to going I want to block them from here so the blur kind of wrong different so I need it inverse to those areas so now you can see right here we have mountain, but those areas where was um, terrace, the terrace still be available. So our prone won't override them. Okay, and next let's go create a combiner. And the reason why I want to create combiner is so we can take our terrace from here. Okay, we can combine with our prone. And the same to control mapping. I'm just going to use it the same one. So in this case, we will preview. Okay, we can see it's somewhat created. However, our merging or on our combiner blend what not need set a little bit more properly. So in this case, I'm going to set add. So it will add based on the height. And we can also take, you can adjust a little bit, see which one work a little better. Notice right here we have it all the way. This is our terrace before. And if we're going, it will add our middle mountain. So this is just a kind of in a case if you want to. Um, you can play with a different type of the effect. Again, power will reduce, it will increase. We can also multiply. So we'll bring a little bit on multiplication or add different height or add even maximum based on a, this, this. But for now, we'll just use add. Can just bring this mountain right in the middle a little bit. Again, uh, you can rework a little bit more, but this is just example how we can take a different shape if we need it, modify and embed it with a, some previous what we've done without affecting effect like for example um on a side the stairs so we can bring them in okay next let's go to um natural we'll take origin we'll put right here just overall so we can add some additional effect that will look nicer um switching to channel we'll just have it about maybe 120 pop up a little bit more let's take a rock hardness way higher and we'll bring segment a little bit up. Again, the rock hardness will just give those hard channels without destroying, you see it right here, without destroying too much or creating too much stuff on the bottom. And we'll just enable this global and bring up. Okay, let's click OK. We can preview. So you can see right here we have it. We still preserve some terracing. Okay. So if we look on the side right here, you can see we have some terracing. Um, we need pop up a little bit higher resolution to view, but problem again, erosion will override. So to preserve, let's go go from here and bring to our erosion. So on this point, you remember we look right here before the side. We go to render, and now we can preserve right there. You can see we kind of preserve some of those terracing now a little bit better that way. Okay, so let me go back. Okay, right here we can terrace expand. Let me look on this. Um, maybe, you know what, just bring something more on those stairs. Go bring here. I'm just looking so I can bring some of those terracing on the sides. And again, in some cases, think about this. Um, it can be terrace right here as example, but it could be also rocks a little bit on one side, different rocks. Like right here, you see the terrace is going 
or it's going to be otherwise. So let's go preview here, render. And right here you can see we preserve some of the stair sink going right there, this side. And we have it smooth and nice on this. And avoided some of the erosion going directly through those areas. So again, in these techniques, you can see preserve, we can create a small piece of rocks, which is can going like fall down and we can have it very nice and smooth going from other side. It's a little bit more different um, type of erosion applied. Okay, next to this, we'll just go ahead and use it output file right there. And we can go ahead Okay, we can copy this. Okay, we can connect to flow, where map, and to the deposits. Okay, we'll just need to go ahead and set to write names. Okay, let's go ahead, open, and again, I will be rendering at least 2000 resolution. And we'll go ahead, build the world, and when build is completed, and it should be take very fast because not so much stuff um, going on there. Okay, it's last version, almost done, and we'll just go ahead and save it. So if you purchase these tutorials, all these project files, as well as high resolution maps, including in a, a bonus pack, if not, you can just follow tutorial and create it your own. Thank you for watching this tutorial. And please remember, this test on the web is www.kickitplay.com.